now. The crime incomprehensible, the defendant's attitude in court reprehensible. Thank you for joining us. I'm Brian Loftus. I'm Kirsten Joyce. Two teens in court accused of killing a cyclist. The 8 News Now investigators first to bring you additional evidence from the alleged crime spree. Vanessa Murphy in the courtroom this morning as there were some tense moments. The wife and daughter of victim Andy Probst say they believe the teen's behavior here in court today shows they have zero respect and zero remorse. They're just kind of trying to mad dog us and intimidate us, which didn't work. Jesus Ayala and Jameer Keys smiling at the widow and daughter of Andy Probst as they leave the courtroom Tuesday. The teens are accused of intentionally hitting the 64-year-old retired California police chief. <laughs> bum, 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 bum. They're charged with murder and additional felonies in connection with an August 14th crime spree. Police say they also hit this 72-year-old cyclist that morning. <laughs> He survived a trial now scheduled for September of next year. These guys, they did not respect the court whatsoever. The teens appear to communicate with each other at times covering their faces and also laughing. I'm, I'm not scared. You are 100 percent. On Monday, we obtained police body camera video showing the moment after Ayala was taken into custody. You think this juvenile will do something? I'll be out like 30 days. That's a game to them. Like. They don't they really don't care if anyone else lives or dies. They don't care about themselves if they live or die. And that can just be shown through their own actions. Who do you think failed here leading up to this? A multitude of different people failed, but I think ultimately the parents on all ends. They're the ones who failed. Taylor and Crystal Probst say they'll continue to come to court for the teen's appearances to seek justice and to put a face on the victim of the teen's alleged crime. Crystal wears this Apple Watch her husband was wearing when he was killed. Taylor and her brother received an alert on that fateful day. It reminds me he's here with me in the courthouse, you know, um, to fight for him. Ayala's defense attorney raising concerns again that he believes prosecutors are trying to try this case in the media and suggesting that new evidence we just showed yesterday was leaked. However, it is public record. Reporting in downtown Las Vegas, Vanessa Murphy, 8 News Now. Taylor Probst says she believes the teen should get the death penalty, but because of their ages when the alleged murder occurred, 17 and 16, they are not eligible. The heaviest sentence, if convicted, is life with the possibility of parole.